Hello friends, welcome or welcome back. Um, if you notice that I have most of my makeup and one eyebrow on, that's because um, I was doing my makeup, put on one of my eyebrows, and then I started looking at the difference between the eyebrow with makeup on it and the eyebrow without, how gappy it is and everything, because um, if you haven't seen the videos where I talk about this before, I pick out my eyebrows when I get stressed and I yank out the hair from kind of back here. I just, I pull out my hair when I get stressed out and there's a name for it. It's called trichotillomania. Um, I haven't been diagnosed with it or anything. Um, I'm working through my complex PTSD <laughs> and I just kind of consider the hair pulling to be a product of that and a symptom of that. But if you are experiencing the same things, whether you put it under the term trichotillomania or not, whether it's just a weird habit that you have that sometimes you pull out your hair. I'm gonna talk to you about how to fill in your eyebrows after a trichotillomania attack or a period of time where you pull out your eyebrows. Um, this is obviously just for eyebrows because, I mean, I'm sure I could fill in my hairline if it got bad enough back here, but I can't see the back of my head so I don't typically care too much about the back of my head. My hair's up a lot, so that's something I wanna obviously wanna stop doing. Um, I have a service dog in training, if you weren't aware of that, and I am training her slowly um, when I can remember to alert to me when she sees me do stuff like this. Um, yeah, anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. There's two different products that I use. What I used in this eyebrow is, um, the Anastasia Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde. And uh, I don't know if that's focused at all because I'm not wearing my glasses, um, but whatever. Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde works for me. Um, it's pretty similar to my hair color, but I mean, if you have platinum blonde hair, obviously this is gonna be a bit dark for you, so I'm not sure what the shades are, but uh, anyway. When I don't feel like actually looking like I'm wearing makeup, I guess, I use the Tarte Tartlet palette, and I think it's the shade Power Player that I use. Yeah, so it's just kind of like, just a very little bit, like that looks vaguely like a bruise on my hand, um, and that's kind of all you want. I probably should have shown you how to use both, <laughs> but I didn't start recording on the first eyebrow. I want my eyebrows to match because I'm actually leaving the house today, so I'll make a different video on how to do it with powder if you're into it. Also, this is not just for women and people who like traditionally are allowed to wear makeup by society standards. Um, this is a habit that can strike anyone at any time. Um, so no matter your gender, no matter society's expectations of you, if you want to fill in your eyebrows so that they're not like blank and missing, I think that's absolutely fine. Um, so I'm going to do a separate tutorial with powder another day if you'd like it. Let me know in the comments if that's something that you would be interested in. I just realized how messy the couch is behind me. We just recently moved the office and I haven't cleaned it up yet completely, but that's where Marco likes to sit. Yeah, as soon as I'm about to start actually getting into the video, you come and try to smooch me. Yeah, everybody gather around. Mama's trying to actually get something done. What I do is I take the pomade. I've had this for like a couple years and I finally just like hit pan or whatever, and it hasn't dried out. I've heard a lot of people complain like, oh, the eyebrow pomade, it dries out so fast. I think if you store it properly, it doesn't because I've had this, like it's probably, yeah, it has a shelf life of six months. I don't use this in my work kit, it's fine. Um, but it has a shelf life of six months and uh, here we are. Anyway, so what I do is I put a little bit on the brush, just kind of like, I don't know if, any of this is ever gonna focus, but uh, if you can see that, it's just a little bit of the product on the brush. And then I go underneath kind of very gently. What did my makeup teacher call it? Like feather light or something? She had a cute term that she used for it, but just like, like you're brushing a feather across your eyebrows. So kind of just barely 
carve out that line where your eyebrow kind of naturally would end if uh, <laughs> if you hadn't picked all the hair out of it. And uh, sorry if it's hard for you to see, I'm not a beauty guru. Um, and then I kind of end the brow where I want it to end, still being very light, like enough for it to <laughs> penetrate the hair, that's not the right word, um, enough to coat all of the little hairs, but not enough to completely stain your skin. Um, because if the product does start to wash off throughout the day, then it's gonna start to look patchy and uneven. Anyway, so you just go in with your little feather touch there, and then just follow where your eyebrow, where you want the shape to go. Now my eyebrows are always different shapes. Um, this is not a thing I'm proud of. This is not a thing I'm bragging about. This is a frustration. <laughs> and thankfully they're supposed to be sisters and not twins. And I think that's because it is almost impossible to draw on your own eyebrows completely even. Like I find it easier to do it on clients than on myself. When you can see the whole canvas, it's a lot easier. So if you have trouble, don't freak out because it's hard. <laughs> In the next video I do about this, I'll make, whoop, I'll make it an actual tutorial so that you know how to shape your eyebrows. But yeah, I find that eyebrow pomade works beautifully on days that I'm going to be wearing other makeup. Um, just because it has a more finished look to it, I guess. I don't know, it looks more like makeup than the powder does. Um, and if you want a more natural look, I would say go as light-handed as you can with the pomade or um, use powder. I can get that video up for you as soon as next week if you want it, uh, just let me know. But anyway, these are my eyebrows. Um, you saw what they looked, what this one looked like before. That is what both of my eyebrows look like to different degrees um, at all times, basically, lately. I had stopped completely and everything had grown back. It only took a couple of months from like, I had little patches right here and those were my eyebrows. And <laughs> I just painstakingly watched them grow back over a couple of months. And now here we are and I'm pulling again, but that's okay. It's fine because you know what? Nobody's perfect. Not even me, not even you. And that's okay. And uh, yeah, I have eyebrows now, so. Uh, Hell yeah, let's go get this party started. And by this party, I mean shoveling all the snow that fell overnight and has been blowing around all day on the sidewalk. Um, so I don't know why I just put makeup on, but I did use waterproof mascara, so. Uh, when I inevitably cry, um, tears of sadness and, you know, just from the cold air hitting my face, at least I'll still look fine. I'm gonna put on lipstick just for the sake of the video. I'll probably eat it off right after. Um, it's a habit that I have. Um, I've seen a lot of people on YouTube using this lipstick recently. This is the one that I got like in the birthday thing. That's why everybody's been using it because it was the birthday gift for 2018 from Sephora. Oh my gosh. That makes sense. Okay, so anybody who had a birthday last year and also makes YouTube videos has been using Birthday Suit by Tarte. And um, it's the Tartist lip paint. It's a really good lipstick. My dogs are barking, so uh, I gotta go. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to be kind to yourself and others today. And I'll see you soon if my dogs don't eat me first. Bye.